Yeah, well, I think you're going to want to hear this. Is it about Neil? No. Uh, as you know... Hold on, uh, hold on. Yeah, I, I can set it up as you're doing it. Uh, as you know, um, there's been many discussions and rumors about Compound Media, and there's been predictions, and Gino's right, and shows have been cut left and right. Just tell me when you're ready. Go ahead. As of today, from a very reliable source, inside source, I broke it earlier today, but here in front of a bigger audience, ladies and gentlemen, no longer a part of Compound Media, Eric Nagel, Iraq! Oh, yes, 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 yes. They cut him loose. Wait, uh, yes, yes, yes. Wait, who, who'd you hear? Wait, so he they cut him loose today? I don't know if it's today, but uh, word on the street, I'm the huggy bear of the hack verse that <laughs> it's happening. It's gone. He's well, out. He hasn't, he hasn't been around. And that and that's just another sign that they're done. They're they're done. They're done. Yeah, I'm, I'm waiting like, for Ant, I'm waiting for Andy to go live today because he goes live for free today, don't he? Yeah, see, Chad, he see what see if see if they're tweet tweeted from compound. America, see if they're tweeting about today's show, Kumi's on, show. On it, boss. I don't know if you guys agree with this, but I kind of found Iraq kind of a shifty guy. Shifty. No, I 100% agree with you. Yeah, he's a weird guy. He thinks he's like some kind of genius, like like some kind of a radio god. Like he's got all the answers. He's like, he, he, there's a clip of him and Chrissy saying like, I don't know the future of uh, radio and podcasting. It's crazy now. And then he then he was saying, people won't come on Anthony's show because uh, Anthony's offensive. No, I'll say Anthony doesn't draw a crowd. And Compound Media is over. It's over, Gino. Bye. I always found Ira kind of shifty. He's totally shifty. Like, he, shift, he shifted on me. He shifted on Opie, Sam Roberts. He was talking shit about Anthony while working for him. He's a, he's out for himself, Iraq. He's a piece of shit. And you can clip it. I stand by it. You, Eric Nagel. I try to be a judge of people's character, not by people's character, what they are. Same. Same here. That's why I hang out with uh, Kevin Brennan. So they say live now the Anthony Cumia show. At Comia Show, but it doesn't say if it's he's, on YouTube because I not. thought he was doing YouTube shows. No, I think he was doing that to get more subscribers, but I don't think it's going to be a consistent thing. Oh, that's weird. I thought it was. Right, let me see if I can get it. I can get it on my thing because I'm a member. Yeah, my, you're still a, a member for that nonsense? Yeah. So they're down to Chrissy one day a week, Gino four, and... Anthony for that's it for what ten dollars a month. He probably didn't start it anyway. They got rid of that twenty one gun salute show too. They fired them. They did. Yeah, they're gone. Yeah, because they don't they don't want um they don't want to pay anybody. They don't have any budget. Hold on. Yeah, but the thing is, right. Uh, also on YouTube on Monday. There we go. Okay. Uh, yes, if you're watching, of course, you can subscribe to Compound Media for 20% uh, off if you use the uh, promo code COMPOUND20. So who's running it? You. And, um, yeah, great weekend uh, down here, South Carolina. Beautiful weather, per usual. Um, went out to uh, brunch yesterday. Another, there's like a shitload of places to get brunch. And I know brunch is kind of gay. It's very gay. Uh, you know, you have some of those mimosas. You know, that's kind of gay, too. Yeah, it is. Wow, what happened to Anthony? Didn't he used to be cool? When he you a shock jack? Now he's starting his Monday free show talking about mimosas. He's back to drinking. Know, like, I'd rather go to a diner for waffles. Yeah, I know. Surf and turf. Brunch is just gay, but uh, there's kind of that old school word gay involved. What a gay time we're having here at brunch. It's gay. Mm. Stop sucking my cock. I don't mean gay. I just mean we're having a gay time at brunch. It's, uh, yeah, it was great. Like steak and eggs, whatever that 
hollandaise oh, sauces. That, that's what go. brunch looks like? <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's one of the places I go to. Look at the crowd, right? Isn't that fucking... What, what are we doing, man? This is his show now? He's wearing glasses and he's showing people eating brunch from South Carolina? Wow. Wow, it's right, Chad. Wow, Chad's on his game today. <laughs> this is great. Wow, we're watching people eating eggs, Benny Dick. Mm. you working with a food network now? Uh, yeah. Just so. Talk about E Rock. You fired another guy. It's only Garrett and him left. Garrett and him. I knew E Rock was going to be gone, but I. But I didn't know. Uh, I thought they would close the studio first. So that's next, Gino. Bye. What you call that? Oh, white. I think is the word. <laughs> I was going to say gay. <laughs> gay. Yes. Look at the gay time those white people are having. They look so gay. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, no, it was fucking awesome. Walk yeah, brunch around. is great. People, uh, when I was uh, talking what about. What do you order, Chad, when you get brunch? I mean, I don't. A lot of times they give you a choice chance between like a choice between like a breakfast uh, entree and like a lunch entree. Where do you go? What do you usually go with? You go like a club sandwich or a breakfast? I do like an eggs Benedict. I'm not gonna lie. Right, Mike. How about you? And same thing for breakfast. Yeah, coming like down I, here like you know, look out for the summers. It gets hot. I like. I like the. No, no, no. Not the kind of heat. Shut the fuck up. It's hot. Oh, he's back to being a tough guy. Telling everybody to shut the fuck up. You want the brunch, dude. I like the heat. I don't care about being. Chad was saying he likes extra ladies. I love him. No, you're saying about Anthony. Yeah. Oh, yeah, Uh, yeah. Hot. I wonder how he got out of that. You know, if it's really fucking hot, it could get what they call uncomfortable. It's you're just not comfortable. Oh, he's talking well, about the weather and brunch. Oh, I wish it wasn't this hot, but a, you know, it's not uh, the end of the world. It's a morning show. <laughs> well, Traffic and weather coming up at the nines. Cold is painful. Cold actually causes you physical pain. If it's hot out, you do this. Let me see. Back of my back of my knuckles. It's a shame he's a shell for himself. Right now, I could do that. Do that all day. I could You know what the show needs? I could play dr- Opie. Opie, and, Opie and Jim Norton. It would be yeah. really good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but the thing is he's a shell for himself. It's like seeing both of the clowns who came with his makeup off. Yeah. Exactly. Throwing Patrice, maybe Bill Burr, Louis C.K. in the show would be awesome. Drums with the back of my knuckles on the corner of uh, the uh, the desk. If it was 20 degrees in here and I did that, I'd be writhing on the floor in, in unbelievable pain. Okay, first of all, you, it will never get 20 degrees inside. One time I lived in Chicago and we had no heat. And I got a thermostat because I was complaining to the landlord. It was 46. And this is this is when it was like uh, 30 below outside. Oh. So you'll never get 20 to 20 degrees inside is a inside is even in South Carolina, will never no matter if you have no heat or anything inside, it would never get 20 degrees inside. That's a fact. No, it'll never be that cold. So yeah. yeah, I enjoy the heat way more than the cold. You're gonna miss the winners. No, I'm not. Talk about E Rock. Oh, hey, hey, but I got breaking news right now from Borgo. You want to hear it? Yeah. He just sent a super chat to uh, Anthony saying, I just heard E Rock was let go. When is Gino's pink slip coming? Wow. Do you think he'll read it? No, because I don't think he reads them, does he? I don't, I don't think he does. Uh, yeah, so it was blazing hot. Just walking around uh, Greenville, and uh, so what? It was great. Eight outside in the heat, and then you go in to a nice place to grab uh, air conditioning, a beer or something after brunch. And then you get a little air conditioning and then go back outside again. Is that how it works? And uh, <laughs> the people, it's like doing Kumia's cocks. Yeah. Well, just, yeah, you know, the, I don't know what it is. cold over there. You know what I mean? 
Mike, the point is he's talking about brunch and the weather. That's uh, all he's got. If you sit close enough to people, they'll just start talking to you. And well, it's not, not a crazy person. Sound, but it's not like he, New York. He is a really crazy funny people. guy. He, he just... He's a shell of himself. You nailed yeah. it, Mike. We'll start talking to you. He is. It's just a nice couple. This nice couple. Uh, I always, I just have this. We get um, it. You like Greenville. Tom, where I really it's don't like, know. I forget like, how old I am. It, so I always think I'm younger Rangers, than I am. So I, autograph shows. Yeah. I see a couple. I go, oh, look at this old couple. <laughs> and, you know, in, in most of those cases, they're at least my age. But not Missy's age. So, Anthony, you like Greenville better than New York. That's what he's saying. And he doesn't okay. like he doesn't like black people either. Well, many times younger, and I'm like, oh, look at this old couple that are sitting here. <laughs> so, yeah, uh, how how old is this girl? There was an old couple, like 25, uh, sitting nearby, and I don't 35? even know what's. Oh, I think they were talking about the music because there was another um, a beer festival or something going on right across the way, and, and there was live Gephardt? music. And they were asked, <laughs> "This is this is worse than live at Get Parts." Yeah, at well, least at least Ron the waiters at live at Get Parts, playing with his head, <laughs> scratching his forehead. King, if we knew anything about the live music, and Missy knew a lot about it, started telling them about it, and they, you know, it starts a conversation, like human beings used to have. You know, all right. Tell us about E Rock. 